Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, I want to talk about an Asian woman who is basically accusing Richie Stevens of um, touching her, holding her, and taking the thing without her permission. You understand? She actually did an interview with the Jamaica star. And basically, during the interview, she speak on how she actually got the courage to speak out and basically make the world know what he allegedly did to her. But if you remember that word, you know, people. Now, Richie Stevens also made his lawyer, um, did an interview with the Gleaner, where his lawyer is saying, that it is possible that a lawsuit may come into play because the woman basically I call him name and I tell life on him and that is basically defamation of character his own man say also I have a Facebook live to play for you guys in the end of this video where Dr. Love is basically defending the woman who is accusing Richie Stevens of RAPE so we have all of those topics to talk about people so sit back kick back relax make sure you like the video subscribe if you not subscribe yet. turn on the notification bell that way you're notified when I post a new video so people the first thing we're going to talk about is the interview so let's get into this article so it says Elaine Lim found courage in Tanya Stevens' story. Asian beatboxer and video editor Elaine Lim says that hearing Tanya Stevens talk about being raped has motivated her to turn the attention on reggae recording artist Richie Stevens, who she alleges sexually assaulted her while on tour in Melbourne, Australia two years ago. I saw Tanya Stevens sharing her account of sexual abuse, which gave me the courage to share. Lim told the star. Richie Stevens was accused of sexual abuse by Lim. However, police in Australia, having investigated the matter, found no basis to charge a Jamaican entertainer. Stephen has flatly denied the allegations. Additionally, his attorney Christopher Townsend confirmed that the artist was detained in Australia but was allowed to leave as the allegations were found to be not credible. After the alleged incident on November the 12, 2019, Lim and rapper Major One for whom she was the assistant on the tour, remained in Melbourne. Meja and I stayed in Melbourne until November the 18th, during which I made sure the police had what they need for the investigation and to personally attend to healing and counselling. We returned home to Singapore, where I entered counselling through AWARE's Association of Women for Action and Research, Exually Assault Care Centre, she said. Lim said that despite claims that the matter was quickly handled, she said investigations first concluded this January, with the artist not being charged, she appealed for an external review, the result of which stated that there is no reasonable prospect of conviction. Responding to a Gleaner query about the alleged incident involving Stevens and Lim, then investigating officer detective senior constable Amanda Hill said the case has been wrapped. Given the circumstances of this matter, I do not wish to comment other than the investigation is closed, she told the Gleaner via email on Sunday. In a 25-minute long YouTube video that she recorded after watching Stevens' interview, Lim insisted that her allegations were true and she was not seeking attention. She said that during the investigation by the Australian police, she could not speak publicly because I was told by the police to trust them and the process and that every word I, I say will affect the investigation. I come from a sheltered background in Singapore where I never knew the term sexual assault until it happened to me. In Asian culture, Matters of RAPE and molestations are shunned. I carry a lifetime scar that is the result of trauma and triggers. It is deeply hurtful when what I have gone through is being called good acting, she said. Tanya Stevens is no stranger to denouncing sexual crimes and sexual offenders. In an Instagram interview with internet radio host Shannon Mack, she revealed that a prominent dancehall artist assaulted her when she was a teenager. Since her revelation, persons have been sharing their stories with her and she has invited others to offer support. So yes, people, what do you guys think about this? As I said, this situation, it's a bit divided. You have some people who actually believe her, and you have some people who actually believe Richie Stevens. You understand what I say? And remember, you know, people, the police, them do them investigation. No evidence were found. They never said nothing that could say, all right, this man actually did that to her. You understand what I say? Even though that does not say that it never happened. You understand what I say? Remember, say you have only an innocent uh, man they are prisoning, you know, and you have only a guilty man on their road you know so it kind of steer away from you understand what i'm saying so other than that i just you for make up your mind who you believe who you don't believe you understand what i'm saying 
And as I did say, people in the initial start of the video, Richie Stevens' lawyer actually spoke out about this, you understand? And they have not confirmed that they will be filing a lawsuit for defamation of character, but the lawyer actually said that it is not out of, um, it can happen then, you know what I'm saying? And I guess that is based on if she continues to say certain things on the internet or continue to make certain posts, maybe do interviews and all of that, you know what I'm saying, people? But, I don't know what to say about this story, people. You know, the Australian police say what them say, them investigated, no evidence was there for sure say anything like that happened. You understand? So, boy, I don't know if the truth will ever come out. You understand? But somebody obviously is lying. Him come out and say, no, do nothing like that to her. Him doing a them type of thing there. And she come out and say, do it to her. You see, people. So let me know what you guys think about this. Tanya Stevens, you know, she share her story and it seems like it will make a lot of females that speak up now. I'm going to have a big R up for that, you understand? Because at the end of the day, I do not support any man who do... And matter of fact, if you even do that to a woman, you is no longer a man. You is a little sucker. You understand what I say? Because no man is supposed to hold any woman and actually take it. Or, you understand what I say? Without a woman permission, come on, bro. So much woman in the world. You understand what I say? No means no. But of course, you got to have some man out there or some man frame out there where feel like, say, is a woman, she should do whatever he want. And you even have some man out there where feel like because they have money, every female supposed to just see them and just spread them legs and them thing there. You know... Anyway, people, as I said, let me know where anything about this, yeah, man. And I'm going to leave you know that Instagram live, like I said before. And Dr. Love is basically speaking on this whole situation. So, you can leave some comments in the comment section. You see, my people, thanks for watching the video. Bless upon yourself. Stay safe. I'm out. And the reason why I want to talk about the rape victim from Singapore, because I, I would use the word the rape victim. That's the word I will use. And then... I will talk about the other element. I would not call names because it is so disgusting on every level that it don't make no sense to call them. When it pass a level of angry, pass a, a level of disgusting, you never want to call the element name in your environment. Take it from me. As I sit here today and as I talk. I know the element. I was around the element. I work with the element. We drive in the same car. We perform on the same stage. We laugh and talk just like everybody else. So I know the element. So I can talk about the element. I can. One thing I will say about the element, the element have no heart, no sympathy for nobody, don't care about nobody but himself. Disgusting individual, an individual that don't let the face and the glass and the music fool you, because that's where a lot of people go wrong. You know, let the music and the look of a lot of people fall on it. And on a judge them based on what you see. It doesn't mean because a person look calm and act attire and look like they have good moral character means that they're a good person. That individual is not a good person. Under any circumstances. It is it is to a point when you think back of things, it make you so, as a man, it make you so, feel so disgust. So disgust. And I was a friend, a good friend of the entity, son that passed away. Very good friend of his son. And when his son passed away, or however, his son was murdered. I distanced myself away from the environment. Because I never liked the environment. I distanced myself. I don't have anything 
personally different with the with the with the element the element never promised me music bossing the element never say my god give me money none of that but as a human being i have a choice to choose and i choose be around people that will love to see you go somewhere in life and better yourself in life the element would take anything that he can take from you if you allow him to. The element I've got so much trophies and hoard over the years and achievement. That is not right. Should never been. Should never get all those award and all those glorify good moral character. Should never been. Under any circumstance. And I'm not speaking for numbers or speaking for views. I'm speaking from the bottom of my heart. And why I'm speaking from the bottom of my heart is because I have a daughter. I have a son. And as I said before, a young lady. When I was 13, 14, asked me to come in her room and perform oral sex with her. And I did at my age. And I know what it feels like. I know what it is. You have to be in a situation to know what certain things feel like. But I am grateful and I am glad that it was a woman, it's not a man. And if it was a man, I would have opened my mouth and talk, whether you like me or not, is what it is. But I started to have oral sex from a young age. I don't doubt that young lady in Singapore. I don't doubt her. I don't doubt her. I don't disbelieve her. I don't look at her like she's looking at attention. I don't look at her like she's looking at boss. But I feel her sympathy and I feel her pain. She ain't the only one cry out that before. A lot of people cry that out. It's just that she's the, the first one to bring it come to the front line of justice for others. Others that have been living with the, the, the pain and the shame for years. Over these years, she have helped those people to find some form of comfort within their self. Like I said, like I said, if that young lady was looking for a boss, Why would she look a bus using the word that somebody raped her? She's a photographer. If you're gonna look a bus of an artist this day, look a bus of an artist who's relevant and who is still in the eyes of the people. Not an artist that people forget about and don't remember about. Not an artist that if you ask certain generation, they don't know who that is. You don't look a bus of a fence that is broken. You look at boss for something that is relevant. You go to a dexadap, a spice. Those for my environment to look at boss. You go to a popcorn. You go to an alkaline. You go to a cartel to look at boss. Not something that is not relevant in a time like this. <clears throat> so I don't know that young lady. I just feel sorry for her. That the last system would fail her like the last system would fail a lot of people in Jamaica. And, and she's fighting. Not one day that young lady have come on in any interview and said that. I want to promote this music. I want to promote this. Let me tell you something. As I sit here today. On the 4th of October, 
I believe everything that young lady have said. Every word. Every single word I believe her. I don't disbelieve her. And that's from the bottom of my heart. I believe what she said happened to her, happened to her. And some of you people are watching Vegas Live last night saying that, how could you let somebody do that to you three times? You have never been in that situation. So you can't talk about it. So you can't say, she give her boyfriend bone and all of that. Like, really? What about the rest of people in them alive? What about the rest of people in that never call in the name or their line? These are the reasons why rape victim never comes out and talk because of people like Uno. People like Uno who push them in our ground. People like Uno that remind them of what have happened to them. People like Uno who make them feel like they are not nobody. Why they don't talk and why they're silent. As Tanya said in her, in her post today, if she call name, we never chastise her. If she not call her name, we not still her chastise her. The young lady call name, we not still murder her same way. We not look at the pattern. All the victims have this, is the same pattern with all the victims. My little sister, my little niece, I will protect you, I will guide you, <clears throat> but at the same time, a little sister, a little niece, is only a little niece and a little sister, until the door is closed. Once you go behind the door and it's closed, the niece and sister is not anymore. The advantage, the beat. Raping people, putting them in showers, all kind of things. Hmm? How could a man take a woman and do her like that and turn around and want to come set her record straight there's no record to set straight you know what I see you as? I see you as a Jamaican or a Kelly and you should be behind bar you should be arrested and charged you should be arrested and charged you should rot in jail <laughs> 